It's time for spring cleaning, but some messes are easier to fix than others. An Elgin woman who tried to make her house whole again after she became a widow is stuck in limbo and out thousands of dollars. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes a look at chores abandoned by a contractor. Finish painting, dining room, living room, and loft. Touch up paint, blue tape marks here, here. Adjust closet doors. We were supposed to put in a ceiling fan here. Install modem and router so it's rubbing on the wall, like in the living room, dining room. He was supposed to grind that out. Susan Kuda's chores could be this whole story. But he was supposed to dye this brown. And in a way, they are. So it, it doesn't close. The projects. That was us on our wedding day. And these pictures. He was a good man. Are left behind by her husband who passed away suddenly. And there were just a lot of things in the house that we had just let go. I needed to make the house nice again. He is still listed as a contractor. So Kuda turned to Amazon Home Services and hired the owner of Stiggs Incorporated, Craig Newman. In the beginning, we had no issues whatsoever. He did great work. Until, she says, Kuda gave Newman the rest of her to-dos and $8,000 up front. That money came from her husband's life insurance policy. He would say, okay, I'm going to be here on this day, you know, and he would never show. The widow's work, but abandoned. No matter, it, it never got done, none of it. Mid-list. When he left, it was, things were just covered in drop cloths. That was almost a year ago. He wasn't answering by then my phone calls or my text messages. Working two jobs just to stay in her Elgin home, Kuda wrote Newman a demand letter and filed a police report. Officers note they also had trouble locating the handyman. We did too. Please leave a message after the tone. We are doing a news story about uh, your business and what Susan feels like is fraud. The Better Business Bureau rates Newman's company, Stiggs Incorporated, an F. So why did she pay him? I just want to get my house finished. It came down to keeping up with errands after a sudden loss and trusting someone during a vulnerable time. You welcomed them into your house. You, you know, gave them food. They were doing good work. And then to uh, turn around and do that to people, I, I want him stopped. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Police closed Kuda's case without pursuing charges, but she just received a letter back from the Illinois Attorney General's office acknowledging her complaint.